Hi friends, today I'm going to be giving you some cleaning motivation, hopefully. I'm standing here in this bathroom that really needs cleaning, and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of decorating in here that's a little bit whimsical and nostalgic. So first of all, a little bit of history on this bathroom. When the house was built, it was not here originally. It's on the basement level of our home, but it did have a hole where you see that drain right there for a potential shower or tub. And it also had a hole in the floor where this toilet is. And so about two years ago, we started construction and it's been a very gradual process. It's still not complete, but we certainly use it. It's very functional and I'm going to decorate it a little bit today and you'll see how some areas still need to be completed um, and also give you some cleaning motivation. So let's get started. So you'll notice that there are a couple of openings in the ceiling where there is some plumbing coming down. This will eventually be covered by a floor to ceiling linen closet, but our busy work schedules will not allow for that for a few months. So I decided to go ahead and put this tower shelving unit in the same area for some storage and decor. So first of all, I'm going to clean all the PVC piping and the shelving unit. And now I'm going to start cleaning the shower area. I'm just using an all-purpose cleaner from Dollar Tree on the subway tile along with a textured sponge. Fun fact about the shower. This was my original vision for this bathroom to have a shower as wide as the room. However, we soon learned that this was not a standard width for a tub or shower. And there was only one shower door set in the United States that was even available. It was quite the splurge, but I love how it turned out. We also designed the shower with an easy entrance for someone with a disability. We have experience with this with our own parents and it came in very handy for me when I had nothing to step over after my two foot surgeries last year. I could just walk in with my crutches and sit on the chair.
This little narrow sink, faucet, and vanity are all from Ikea. The beadboard on the walls is amazing because it's actually PVC. We got it at Lowe's and we've been so pleased with it because it wipes off easily and it's so resistant to moisture. And that's a real plus in a humid bathroom. The little towel hooks on the side of the sink came with it. After I use the disinfecting wipes on the outside of the toilet, I like to use paper towels. I call this polishing. This cat toilet brush holder doesn't really fit the Clorox toilet wand, but I keep it in there anyway. That cat is just too cute not to use. And here's one of my treasured vintage items, this pink bathroom scale that I found on eBay. The pink bench was something I found at Target many years ago. On these shelves are some of the items I'm going to be using for decor. These vintage canisters were some promotional items available from Dove Beauty Bar a few years ago. I ordered them from drugstore.com. It was like a gift with purchase. Okay, here comes the whimsical part. Just humor me here. I've had this idea for bathroom decor for many years, but I have never done it until now. I found these little bathtubs at thrift stores and I thought wouldn't it be fun to put my own childhood Barbie doll or Dawn doll in them like they were in a bubble bath. That Barbie doll is actually a Skipper doll. I don't know which model she was. If you know, please comment below. 
And here are the bubbles. Faux snow from the Dollar Tree. This small plastic white shelving unit is where I'm putting most of my bathroom linens like bath mats, towels, and washcloths. On the top, I'm putting this vintage dresser scarf and one of my favorite tiered trays from the Target Dollar Spot. Some shower gel and hand soap combined by Nakery, and one of my all time favorite fragrances, Love's Baby Soft. On the very tip top, a pink and ivory planter with a gifted peace lily in it, then a little cosmetic case with fragrance free dove bars. And another doily from my Aunt Zula. 
I think I have them in every room of my house. This little flower arrangement I've had since childhood as well. I remember it being my bridal bouquet when I played pretend weddings. A small vase with a plastic vintage pink rose. On the next shelf, another doily. And a ceramic gift bag that was a Teleflora container for a Mother's Day flower arrangement many years ago. I've just put some extra soaps in there. And now the other part of this pink bathroom decor that I've envisioned for so long. I have some ballet items that I thought would look nice displayed together. These are actually my own point shoes surrounded by some gifted ballet slipper Christmas ornaments. I had a friend in college who displayed her point shoes on a hanger above her bed and I thought that was so cool. I have to say that these little removable hangers from Dollar Tree are not ideal. The pull tabs have black arrows on them. I think I'll be replacing them later with some smaller clear command hooks or at least I'll be covering those arrows with some white out.
And a final piece of decor is this dogwood print vintage tea towel. The color is a little bit peachy, but I think it blends in. And here is a final look at the cleaned and decorated bathroom. Besides the future linen closet, we also need to whitewash the inside of this pocket door so that it matches the sink vanity. We need to add the hardware for the pocket door so it can be easily closed and locked, and we need to add the trim around the door. I'll be sure to update when we have these final projects completed. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that if you enjoyed it, you'll give it a thumbs up and that if you haven't already, that you'll subscribe to my channel.